Yeah, my dog gets big too. Responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sent to Shut up, Agatha. Don't need help here. Mm. Alright, we getting sturdy in this bitch. Oh, this team way too strong, bro. There we go. Your time is come. Your mother abandons you. No, remember what I told you earlier? The person with the less HP goes in, um, takes the hits. Uh, you try to want to keep them from taking hits. I'm at 2600. The dog's at 13. It's not taking hits for me. Well, yeah, I was saying. Mm -hmm. I can't tell I can't. I can't. I can't tell which one is our character. So oh, which one is the dog? Our dog. Our dog is red. Those are all spectral. We're about to get sturdy in here. Welcome assistance. I hate that Charlie is considered our move. This is why I took the balance collar. You gain two moves every time you use it. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this try, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. I'm just grabbing stuff now. Oh. This looks like Sarah is right to be wary of this place. But it's your birthright. And I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind. The blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Okay, so each magic word does different stuff, um, which is like a secret um, to unlocking things.
Oster smiles upon me. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Look at that shit. I got a cheese plate in my room. I gave this present for shit, though. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get we making our room look good right now. I got a shan a chandelier. That's how they say it in French. Chandelier. Yeah, next time Nico show up to my room demanding to be let in, I got a fireplace for her to sit down in. A cheese plate. Wines. Yeah. Oh, who are you on the phone with, Nico? HR. Oh, your boyfriend works in HR? No. <laughs> who wants to talk to me? Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. Bro, why does Dr. Strange make things awkward? Alright, 23 oh, subway oh. lines evacuated due to an unknown threat. National Guard forces are reportedly on site. Okay, Spider-Man isn't even on the team yet. So this is about a DLC mission, which is where you find Venom. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate. The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony. And perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. You are the best girl. You know that, right? If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could... I hope the two of you create something powerful. 
I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the Arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the Sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Approach the anvil, Hunter. We do not have time to spare. You have my undivided attention. In this reality, anyway. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. These are relatively common at one point in history. All right, let's get started, Dr. Spooky. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. All right. Let's go. You're welcome, Hunter. All right. So Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first Spirit of Vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my Spirit of Vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with, like, 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? 
He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. No, oh, he has heterochromia. Fascinating. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? <laughs> like playing with fire. Maybe you should be the spirit. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city, but we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There's no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. And I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Nico, do you know where magic is? We need her. Uh, let me guess. To open another portal? She's getting a little tired of being the only person here who can do that. Can't say I blame her. This is serious, Nico. Where is she? Hmm, not sure. But I know she's been looking for Wanda's grimoire, so maybe check in Wanda's room? Thanks for your help. Hello, Hunter. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. It is never easy to lose a comrade. I know this too well. We did not lose Wanda. We let her go. Before any of this started. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. That is no child's book. Lose focus for one second and be lost completely within its pages. Let me guide you through it. You do not own the darkness, Hunter. I was also raised within it. So much so, I barely remember a time without it. And now Wanda has this in common with us, too. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her.
We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay, I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the Forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. I, I can never get a handle on magic, so... Even now, after beating the game twice, I can't figure her out. Heads up, Hunter. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? Oh, sweet. be faster for me to fly so what is stopping you the shockwave would shatter most of the glass in my approach path ah that is not good yeah I try to be considerate all right so she can fly that fast We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there. All right, let's crack some heads. was right on the ah, heroes a single world ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction you insist on meddling further forcing our hand yet again that's just lovely faustus has a radio i'm assuming whatever hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target i suggest we stop it assistance jeez no one can try weak even for hydra Bro. 
Sword with great composure, Magic. It is your pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped ah! in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faster. I will ah! see more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. Alright, this is her special ability. After three moves, she goes banging. All of her moves get a debuff them for her binary form and she also hits harder I feel great you have this coming Done. Seems like that's the last of them. Last? <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Well done. Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. Feeling a chill, Magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky, trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. You were trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the trans-dimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. What did you see, Ileana? I did not see. I said, I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. We should inform the others of any potential danger. Warn them of what? One of Magic's airy-fairy gut feelings? 
The Avengers are already unsure of us. I do not need to add to that. Best not say anything until I am better able to articulate it. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. I still have a lot of thinking to do. While I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo, I will let you know if I do. Sweet. Going for a swing helps clear the cobwebs. You should try it. Need to unburden, Hunter? We stole their thunder and their morale. What's up, Hunter? You think Doctor Strange can take a look at this mole on my. Never mind. Yeah, you can hang out with every I'm superhero. I'm used to the Abbey. Didn't think I'd like it at first. Monks lived here isn't on my list of preferred amenities. What changed your mind? It reminds me of a Cree outpost. Mostly solitary, but you have your team around. Enough contact with civilization to avoid going loopy. Is it difficult for you to live so remotely? You kidding? It's great. First, you have a perfect excuse to ditch unwanted social engagements. Second, you can focus on the mission at hand, very few distractions. And third, you know you're going home at the end. What about you? You died here, so I bet you have some complicated thoughts about this place. It seems the bad memories of this place outnumber the good ones. I had a place like that. When you're done with all this, you can leave. For good, if you want. Don't believe anyone who says you have to come back. Do what's best for you. If that's the Abbey in your rear view, so be it. I'll help you pack your bags. Thanks, Carol. Of course. I could do that again. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered, together. You still have not answered my question. 
It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. Why do I feel like you are going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Oster smiles upon me. No, no, wait a minute. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. <sighs> Hocus Pocus. Ah, oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library.
An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. All right. So we will continue this next time, squad. Uh, we'll continue to search for Agatha or whatever the hell we were doing next time, squad.